Have you ever experienced a real connection with a friend? Have you ever experienced someone say to you, you're my person, you're my bestie. I love you. I remember when I was 12 years old having a conversation like that at the back of a biology lesson. <laughs> She's still my bestie for, to this day. She said to me, do you love anybody other than your, you know, your mum, your dad, and your brother, and you know, your family and all of that? And I get, oh yeah, I think I do. I think I love you. And she said, I love you too, you're my bestie. <laughs> that sealed the deal. And, you know, high school was a horrible place for my year. It was an awful year. You needed a bestie. <laughs> I remember Laurie having a really beautiful connection with a, a colleague, but it took a little bit of the amber fluid with the little froth on the top. For this, <laughs> this colleague at, at staff parties would end up coming over to Laurie, putting his arm around him and saying, oh, I love you, Loz. <laughs> You're like a brother to me. <laughs> but they were firm friends, and they still are. They don't see a lot of each other. But it's just a beautiful thing when someone singles you out as the, their special person. And I was just thinking about the fact that Jesus is our friend, you know, and he said some beautiful reassuring, heartfelt things to his disciples the night before he was cru crucified. And he spoke of how he considered them, and us that means, his friends. I think we're comfortable with Jesus as saviour, as king, as lord, but friend of Jesus has that intimacy and privilege that we can sometimes be hesitant to fully embrace or accept um, and I noticed in that song it said friend and king and I went yes friend and king um, but when I think about the friendship that he's offering and the extreme beauty of that I don't know what you look for in a friend but this is next level the words that he said on that night, found in John 15, regarding that beautiful offer of friendship, I want to say what he said, but in my words. Is that okay? I'm going to do an and paraphrase. Is that okay? And translation. And translation. <laughs> so John 15, 9, this is sort of how he started the bit about friendship and how my, my friend and Laurie's friend started. I love you, John 15, 9. I love you. Just like the Father loves me, I love you. Completely and unreservedly. John 15, 10 and 14. Obedience is my love language. That's how I show the Father I love him. So I want you to do the same as my friend. 11 and 16. I want you to know the joy of connection. Connected together as friends. You'll enjoy a fruitful life when we keep a strong connection. Verse 15. I consider you to be and call you my friends. No longer servants, but truly my friends. And as my, as my friends, as I trust you and confide in you, sharing intimately with you the treasures the Father has shared with me. Verse 16. I chose you to be my friend. You didn't choose me. That's how special you are. That's how accepted you are. Verse 13. The greatest love is when 
A friend lays down their life for you. This is the depth of love I have for you. And this is what I'm willing to do for you, my friends. And you, one of the, the biggest commandment I give to you to show me that you're my friend is to love each other. Just love each other as I have loved you. It's astounding that these beautiful words were uttered hours before his crucifixion. He knew full well his disciples would not be faithful friends. Peter would deny him. They would all scatter. So remember that when, like me, you might struggle to feel worthy to be called Jesus' friend. Jesus epitomizes love by laying down his life for us, his friends. This is the greatest love. Despite our failings, despite our unfaithfulness, despite in our sin having been enemies of God. And then there was another passage that hit this home. He makes us worthy to be his friend. Romans 5, 10, 11, 4. Since our friendship with God was restored by the death of his son, while we were still his enemies, we will certainly be saved through the life of his son. So now we can rejoice in our wonderful new relationship with God because our Lord Jesus Christ has made us friends of God. We're friends of God. We're friends of Jesus. We're friends of the Holy Spirit. We are worthy. He has made us righteous. We can come close. We can fully embrace Jesus as our friend as our saviour, as our king, as our lord. So let's be reminded of the length our friend went to to save us. Let's take the biscuit, symbol of his body broken. Let's take the juice, the symbol of his blood shed. Thank you, Lord for your beautiful friendship. Thank you, Jesus, that you made us worthy. You made us righteous. You gave your all. You gave your life. You proved yourself as next level friend, amazing friend. We thank you, Lord. Amen.